Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to force enable dark mode in Google Chrome. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to show you how to force dark mode on all web pages across all the ranges. So, previously in Google Chrome, and also in Windows for that matter, and Android, you've had options to have darker themes, which have been fantastic and have made things a little bit darker, but generally you open a certain web page and all of a sudden you have your retinas burnt out by all the, uh, the whiteness and brightness of the backgrounds, text or whatever it may be. So now in Google Chrome 78, we've now got some more options so we can actually force web pages to display in dark mode. So let's go to the computer and I'll show you how to enable it. Okay, so first of all, this is going to be your uh, default view. This is what you're normally used to seeing. So you can do things here. So you can customize this if you wanted to, uh, change backgrounds to make it darker. Say so for instance, you could choose the earth one and that makes things generally a little bit darker. But still, when you go to another web page, you've still got all this bright white text everywhere on YouTube and etc. So in the new experiment section in Google Chrome, so this is from the URL Chrome, colon forward slash forward slash flags. Now these are experimental features, so uh, do be careful. Obviously you can resettle this to default if you want to after by clicking on the resettle to default or just changing the theme again. So actually before we do that, one thing you can do actually, if we uh, minimize this and in our personalized section, what you can actually do is go into themes in Windows and you could change to a darker theme if you wanted to. So you can change it, synchronized themes, light, dark, etc. There are ways of doing that but it doesn't always work in the browser. So in the browser, like I said, Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And all you need to do is type in dark. And this is the one we want, force dark mode for web contents. Also, if you want to, you can just use the hashtag enable dash force dash dark, and that'll get you to the same place. So in this section, currently we're set to default. So you've got choices here for enabled, enabled with simple HSL based inversion and all these other things. Now, essentially they all do pretty much the same thing as in the reverse, what the colors are supposed to be, all that kind of stuff. So I find at the moment for me personally, the uh, C-Lab based inversion works best. So if we enable that now and now click on relaunch and there we go, much darker. And this works now across all pages. Now I might have to refresh them but you get the general idea here. So this is all a lot, lot darker. Again, darker in this section here. Now, if we want to, some of these other options around here, we can actually make darker as well. So if you go into the themes in settings and appearance, and let's go for a darker theme. So if we just go with just black, then add to Chrome. And now you can see this is all darkened up quite a bit. And this looks a lot darker now. There's very little traces of white. So if you're using this on a mobile device, obviously darker colors are gonna require less power. So it's gonna save your battery life. And if you're somebody who spends a lot of time in front of the computer, this is definitely gonna save you from getting various forms of eye strain. And there we go, the dark mode on the Google homepage. Now again, this is with a background on there. If you want to, you can click on the, the change background or you can restore. So if we go back to default, so this is the inverted version of your Google page, which to me actually is uh, very, very easy on the eye. And I kind of like it. So let me know in the comments section, what is your favorite background or theme on Google Chrome? Be interested to hear. And do you have customized background images on your setup? Again, let us know in the comments. So there we go. There is another cool new feature available from the Google Chrome flag section. Let us know what you think of it. I'm really interested to know. I actually really do prefer the dark mode now. I know some people, it's kind of like a love-hate thing. Some people prefer the kind of the original pristine clarity of the original setup. But for me personally, getting a little bit older and the eyes are getting a little bit tired, having a darker theme on the desktop certainly does help. So I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.